What's really good? It's your boy Spider Minutes, aka D Man. Your man. I'm sitting here by myself. Yes, uh, my co host, my day one, Daria, just got out of the hospital, so I'm going to give her a little bit of a break. And we're going to hear nothing but my dulcet tones for the next week of gameplay playing Golf Story. And that sounds kind of daunting. Just a little bit. But we can do this. Let's play on, player. Tiger Woods. Tiger, I'm getting my Tiger Woods on with some golf story. Now, I have not, yeah, you see, see, nothing, nothing, not a god dang thing. Playing this raw, untouched. Anyway, as I said, my sister, Daria, who's sitting right here uh, on the other couch, and she's waving to y'all. See, see, she loves y'all. She just got out of the hospital. We actually just got back from Little Rock. We, uh, that, that was the thing that we were sitting down trying to get done uh, this past week was uh, go down to Little Rock and hang out with the family and a few other people uh, because they are running up a charity. They've been doing it for the past uh, eight years. I want to say, yeah, eight years. Past eight years, uh, uh, these charity events down there in Little Rock uh, for the One Thumbs Up organization, uh, which is an organization that works with uh, kids with epilepsy. A matter of fact, let me let me pull up let me, let me pull up the phone real quick. I got I got to pull this up. See, I, I got to do this all by myself right now, cause my fifth will be sick, and I gotta remember exactly what one thumbs up stands for. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Cause it's a nice little acronym. I got you. I got y'all. I got y'all. One thumbs up stands for offering needed empowerment, truly helping uplift many by simply using perseverance. That's the one thumbs up organization. We'll throw down a little uh, bit of the information that you might need. Their Facebook page. I think they have a website up already. So we'll, we'll throw down their story. Um, but it's near and dear to our heart because we have our little nephew, uh, our cousin, cousin, nephew, play nephew, whatever. You, you know how you know how we, you know how our family goes. Right. Anyway, we have our little nephew. Nasir, who suffers from uh Epilepsy and what's the name of those seizures that he has? Grand Mall seizures. Grand Mall seizures, yeah. and it really, really affects him uh, heavily. It makes it makes it hard for him to, you know, do a lot of the things that that you know, a kid his age right now. He's now thirteen. A kid his age uh, usually does, um, but you know, we work with him uh, and his mother Toya. Shout out, shout out Toya. Shout out Nasir. You know we love y'all, but. The One Thumbs Up organization, uh, they, they do a lot of these events, they, uh, they, they get awareness out there, they work with people uh, in Little Rock, Chicago, a few other, uh, few other cities here and there. Texas. So, uh, Texas, thank you. So, uh, go ahead, give them a look, and I will continue playing this golf story, story of the golf, playing some golf, yay, yay, yay. Now, I, I never actually got a play, chance to play real golf before in my life, and I really want to one of these days um, my dad was actually supposed to take me out way back in the day like you know oh, oh look at that the kids got skills on the first try why yeah on the first try on the first try don't play with me and you need to stop you want oxygen and everything hush your mouth hush your mouth peanut gallery Yeah, I ain't got a putt. I hit it in on the first try. So I was talking to my sister as I was picking her up. And um, one of the issues that I usually have with, with, with a lot of the millennial bashing that is out there is uh, people like, you know, you're, you're always in your phones. No, what? What? No, I didn't say do that. Did not say what, what, you, what you doing? What we doing? Bruh, bruh, bruh. Is he peeing? Nah. I was trying to figure out. Okay, there he is. But he looks like he's peeing. Nah, there was this woman. He does. Look. Wait, when you shoot it out, shoot it out again. What? Oh, my God. You're supposed to be quiet, woman. <coughs> You're supposed to be quiet. 
You're supposed to be quiet, all right? I don't hear none of that. As I was saying, before I was quite rudely interrupted by the peanut gallery. When it comes to the millennial bashing that's out there, you know, they always say, hey, you know, kids are always in their phones. And why aren't they out there playing? It's like, here's the thing, though. You know, growing up as a kid in that era, you know, we always did go outside. We played. We played little video games. But sometimes we played our games outside. But nowadays, I want to get in the phone because I don't want to talk to your vanilla ass. I really don't. I... I don't have anything to say to you. And for some reason, every time I go somewhere, somebody wants to cause some small talk. I don't want small talk, bro ham. You know what I want? To be by my goddamn self and left the hell alone. It's, it's simple as that. It's not very nice. For, for some reason, there's like a beacon over my head that says, hey, this man right here, you should go talk to him. No, don't, do not. I, I, I will disabuse you of the notion that you have to speak to me. Maybe if you don't wear tool socks. First of all, hush, no, done. I'm on my story. It's my story time. So you need to stay over there. Stay, stay, over there. Stay, stay, over there. Okay. stay over there. Stay, stay, stay over there. The stay over there. Stay over there. Stay over there. Stay over there. Stay over. I'm over here telling my story. You need to stay over there because you, you ain't. Are you over here? With the with the with 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 the microphone? No. No, 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 no. We said you don't get to speak, mm -hmm. peanut gallery, unless spoken to. Toe socks. No speaking unless spoken to, okay? Matter of fact, I want people to comment down No below speaking unless spoken about to. Who wears toe socks? No speaking unless spoken to. No, no. See, you're not over here. You're not style. over here. You're not over here. You point. can't be over here. Okay, you done? You done? Is you finished or is you done? Is you finished or is you done? Is you finished? Thank you. As I was saying, there must be some beacon over my head that says, please speak to this man. I don't know why. I don't want to I don't want to speak to you when I'm out in public. When I am waiting on my elevator and somebody comes walking up looking like they want to speak, my phone comes out and I'm opening it up and looking it down. I'm an introvert, baby. I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to ask how your day is. I don't want you to tell me like, oh, always busy rushing. No, I don't care. I don't need your input. Please don't. Karen, leave me alone. I don't give a damn about your dusty, crusty ass potato salad. Leave it alone. So I don't mind having people on the train or on the bus in their phones. Please stay in your phone because if you're in your phone, that means you're not trying to speak to me. And it's not like I don't, I, I, I'm not, I'm an unfriendly person. I am definitely not an unfriendly person. But when I'm on my day and I'm moving around, I'm walking around, I'm, I'm having my own fun time. The last thing I need is for you to go, gee willikers, this weather is sure is hot. I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. I think you're looking too much into it. I am not. I, think I, don't, I don't know what drives somebody to speak to strangers unless they need something. I don't get it. I just think it's a common courtesy. No, there is no common courtesy of you coming over and interrupting my day. Well, maybe if you share your tell socks, people will stop talking to you then. No, I, I don't. I just want to just stop talking to me. Period. Just don't talk to me. Just don't talk to me. Please don't. It's like I'm good. I am good being unspoken to. Perfectly fine. Are you really though? I am very fine. I am perfectly fine. Yeah, damn it. Should have got to the green. Yeah, that was the uh, way behind green. All right, I'm a, okay. I'm gonna pitch like this. See if, see if that could work. But yeah, unless you like, you know, think you know me, and we out in public, don't, don't, don't try, don't try and. Are you gonna make me do this long ass putt? You really gonna make me do this long ass putt? You really gonna make me do this? All right, fine. Like, if, if you're trying to, if you're like, I think I know you and want to hold a conversation, cool. I'm, I'm actually cool with that. I don't know why. This is this is a weird quirk of mine. 
But if you're walking over to me, apropos of nothing, and we just happen to be waiting in the same line, I don't need to know uh, your commentary on the day. Leave me alone. Why? Leave me alone. I just want to know why. Why not? Why can't I tell you about my day? I, do I know you? It doesn't matter. What if I just need a friendly face to talk to? Okay. Have a conversation with. Okay. I'm cool. I'm good. Just, I'm perfectly I think you fine. Just need a banter. I nope. I don't. I don't need Jack Crisap. Don't need Nathan. Do not need Nathan. Please don't, 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 don't come over. My phone will come right out, and I will be in that bitch the whole time. I will have no service, and I'll look at a blank black screen. Tell me I won't. No, you will. Introvert is what I say. Okay, so let's talk about people who are assholes in the drive-through. <laughs> So she's mad. Let's have that conversation then. You, you, you know so what? You know what? We'll, 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 we'll save that for the next episode. I'll, I'll save that for the next episode. See, I was trying to give her a break, but she's sitting over here working. heckling me. Heckling. No, that's a heckle. No, you heckler. Work. That's heckling. I ain't Don Rickles. I ain't Richard Pryor. I don't need your, see, I don't need your conversation either. Okay. But I'm still giving it. You sick. You supposed to be getting better. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are for winners. You don't even know. So no. Yeah. First of all, that's not even the line at all. What's the line? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner is for beginners. You don't even know. What did I say? Body, body. I'm, 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 I'm because jumping I, through this I dialogue. Say for beginners. I, I, no, you said winners. Uh, are those breakfast, lunch, and dinner are for winners? Nope. But winners eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh my God. Winners don't use drugs. Winners, winners don't don't use drugs. Don't use drugs, kids, until you you know become of age to make the decision on your own. Don't use drugs. Be good. Be good. <coughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner no, are for winners. No. Nope. Okay. Beginners. Anyway, this is all, this. I did not remember how dialogue heavy this damn part of the game know, is right? like, very dialogue heavy we'll we'll, we'll get into uh that. the rest of this we'll get into the rest of this fun fun stuff the actual actual gameplay next time on button smashes i'll catch you later deuces <laughs>